Crystal knocked with a night of broken glass, also called the November pogroms was a pogrom against Jews carried out by the Nazi party Sturmabteilung, SA, paramilitary and Schutzstaffel, SS, paramilitary forces along with some participation from the Hitler Youth and German civilians throughout Nazi Germany on 9 November 10, 1938. The German authorities looked on without intervening. The name Kristallnacht, literally Crystal Night, comes from the shards of broken glass that littered the streets after the windows of Jewish-owned stores, buildings and synagogues were smashed. The pretext for the attacks was the assassination of the German diplomat Ernst von Rath by Herschel Grinspan, a 17-year-old German-born Polish Jew living in Paris. Jewish homes, hospitals and schools were ransacked as attackers demolished buildings with sledgehammers. Rioters destroyed 267 synagogues throughout Germany, Austria and the Sudetenland. Over 7,000 Jewish businesses were damaged or destroyed, and 30,000 Jewish men were arrested and incarcerated in concentration camps. British historian Martin Gilbert wrote that no event in the history of German Jews between 1933 and 1945 was so widely reported as it was happening, and the accounts from foreign journalists working in Germany drew worldwide attention. The Times of London observed on November 11, 1938, no foreign propagandist bent upon blackening Germany before the world could outdo the tale of burnings and beatings, of blackguardly assaults on defenseless and innocent people, which disgraced that country yesterday. Estimates of fatalities caused by the attacks have varied. Early reports estimated that 91 Jews had been murdered. A modern analysis of German scholarly sources puts the figure much higher. When deaths from post-arrest maltreatment and subsequent suicides are included, the death toll reaches the hundreds, with Richard J. Evans estimating 638 deaths by suicide. Historians view Kristallnacht as a prelude to the final solution and the murder of six million Jews during the Holocaust. Goering, who was in favor of expropriating the property of the Jews rather than destroying it as had happened in the pogrom, directly complained to Setcher Heights Police A. Chief Heydrich immediately after the events, I'd rather you had done in 200 Jews than destroy so many valuable assets. Mir vera lieber gewesen, ihr hättet 200 Juden erschlagen und hättet nicht solche Werte vernichtet. Goering met with other members of the Nazi leadership on 12 November to plan the next steps after the riot, setting the stage for formal government action. In the transcript of the meeting, Goering said, I have received a letter written on the Führer's orders requesting that the Jewish question be now, once and for all, coordinated, and solved one way or another. I should not want to leave any doubt, gentlemen, as to the aim of today's meeting. We have not come together merely to talk again, but to make decisions, and I implore competent agencies to take all measures for the elimination of the Jew from the German economy, and to submit them to me. The persecution and economic damage inflicted upon German Jews continued after the pogrom, even as their places of business were ransacked. They were forced to pay Juden for Majin Gabi, a collective fine or atonement contribution of 1 billion Reichsmarks for the murder of Volmrath, equivalent to 4 billion 2021 euros or 7 billion in 2020 US dollars, which was levied by the compulsory acquisition of 20% of all Jewish property by the state. 6 million Reichsmarks of insurance payments for property damage due to the Jewish community were instead paid to the Reich government as damages to the German nation. Jews were required to pay for the cost of all damages caused by the pogrom to their residences and businesses. The number of emigrating Jews surged, as those who were able to left the country. In the 10 months following Kristallnacht, more than 115,000 Jews emigrated from the Reich. The majority went to other European countries, the U.S. and mandatory Palestine, and at least 14,000 made it to Shanghai, China. As part of government policy, the Nazis seized houses, shops, and other property the emigres left behind. Many of the destroyed remains of Jewish property plundered during Kristallnacht were dumped near Brandenburg. In October 2008, this dump site was discovered by Jerens Foray, an investigative journalist. The site, the size of four football fields, contained an extensive array of personal and ceremonial items looted during the riots against Jewish property and places of worship on the night of November 9, 1938. It is believed the goods were brought by rail to the outskirts of the village and dumped on designated land. Among the items found were glass bottles engraved with the Star of David, Mizuzo, painted window sills, and the armrests of chairs found in synagogues, in addition to an ornamental swastika. Crystal knocked as a turning point. 
Kristall Nacht changed the nature of Nazi Germany's persecution of the Jews from economic, political, and social exclusion to physical violence, including beatings, incarceration, and murder. The event is often referred to as the beginning of the Holocaust. In this view, it is not only described as a pogrom, it is also described as a critical stage within a process in which each step becomes the seed of the next step. An account cited that Hitler's green light for Kristallnacht was made with the belief that it would help him realize his ambition of getting rid of the Jews in Germany. Prior to this large-scale and organized violence against the Jews, the Nazis' primary objective was to eject them from Germany, leaving their wealth behind. In the words of historian Max Rain in 1988, Kristallnacht came, and everything was changed. While November 1938 predated the overt articulation of the final solution, it foreshadowed the genocide to come. Around the time of Kristallnacht, the SS newspaper Das Schwarze Korps called for a destruction by swords and flames. At a conference on the day after the pogrom, Hermann Goering said, The Jewish problem will reach its solution if, in any time soon, we will be drawn into war beyond our border, then it is obvious that we will have to manage a final account with the Jews. Kristallnacht was also instrumental in changing global public opinion. In the United States, for instance, it was this specific incident which came to symbolize Nazism and it was also the reason as to why the Nazis became associated with evil. 